low. Yes. Okay, I can get real one up to the theater. My name is Marianne Brandon. I'm a film editor. I've been a film editor for the past 25 years. When there's a script, there's a director, there are actors, they go out, they shoot a film. I get all that footage. I use the script as a guide and I cut the footage together in a way to tell the story and convey the drama or the comedy or the horror in the best way to make it entertaining for Thanks an audience. Captain. All ships ready for work. In my job, it's sort of the buck stops here, so if I can't make it work, we're in trouble. The film's in trouble. I can't say, oh, we'll fix it in post-production or we'll fix it when we get to the mix. There is no fixing it if I can't fix it. Sometimes I disagree with what a director wants or a performance choice and ultimately I'll huff and I'll puff but I have to give over to a director and usually the end product is a culmination of the director's ideas and my ideas and the writer's ideas. I saw it. No one believes me. I believe you. It's always really exciting to me when I show something that I reconfigure and people have a reaction or they get it or they get a feeling from it or they get an emotion from it. A lot of people helped me along the way and I worked really hard. I worked really hard and I listened and I learned and I took every opportunity that was put in front of me. I didn't grow up in Hollywood. I grew up in Queens, New York. I didn't understand you could have a job actually working in this magic business, which I thought was actually magic. I spent every Saturday and Sunday at the movies. I went to the local cinema, I sat there for the triple feature, and even the cartoons. I guess it's just you and me, huh? No, just you. Huh? My advice to anyone who wants to get involved in filmmaking as an editor, first, I would say they have to love making films. Then I would say it's very important to understand how you make a film and what the components are that go into making a film. I would watch a lot of films to make sure that it is really a joy and it is what carries you away. And then my advice would be to get a job in a cutting room or in a production company that has film making going on or go to school where you're out in the field making films with your friends or your co-students. Be involved as many films as you can. I would also say you have to have a love of telling stories because that's the basic thing. It's all about storytelling. I love telling stories. I loved reading books to my children. I loved when my children told me stories. I love to act out stories. I love to watch stories. I love storytelling. I give a lot at work. I give all of myself. So the people I work around and the people I know give back to me a lot. It makes life much more interesting and much more heartfelt. I don't think I could work the way I do and not love everyone and love what I do.